Hello everyone, it's Archie again. Uh, welcome to Pop Into My Pharmacy series. This one's on uh, weight loss. Um, so you come into my pharmacy and it could well be that you've got a new blood pressure tablet, you've got a new diabetic tablet like metformin, or I've not seen you for a while and I've, I've talked to you about things and with, let's say, for example, COVID, I've, you know, I, I'll talk to you and say, okay, how's your weight been over the past year or so? Because obviously we've been stuck in with COVID and, you know, in general, I would say a lot of people or some people have had problems in the sense that they've kind of put on weight. So that's, that's where I'd usually start with weight loss. And, and so this talk is what I usually say to, to, to patients. Um, it's really complicated weight loss. Um, so I don't have a fixed formula. I'm not going to go to, for example, on the NHS.UK websites and, and give you the eat well plate of having portions of proteins, carbs, etc. Um, I'll start with, um, let's say, some basics of um, what we're composed of, uh, why we eat food, um, the best times to eat food, and, and then a few tips. So that's that's what I'll do it. So I'll do it in a sort of a, I'll do it my way and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So if I were to break myself up, 65% of me is water, <laughs> okay? And it's not in my head, it's everywhere. 16% of me is protein, 16% of me is fat, and only 1% is sugar. So you can see that you know we need uh, to eat food to replace some of those things like the protein the fats etc so when we eat food we're going to get uh, two things from it in general we're going to get energy to power our muscles to run away from a dinosaur or to do some work or to watch this video and we'll get some nutrients the basic nutrients that we get the four comp main ones i would say four three three but two more are carbohydrates and carbohydrates, okay, are basically sugar, little glucose units stuck together into little, you know, bigger chains. So that's a carbohydrate, protein and a fat. As well as that from, our, uh, from, our, from the nutrients, you get vitamins and minerals. So we'll eat uh, whatever we eat to, to get the, those, those nutrients as well as the energy. Um, the other thing to remember is um, when's the best time to eat in general? So how our body works. So in other words, my mouth produces saliva, um, which is, uh, and in that it contains an enzyme called amylase. So when I have, let's say, a piece of toast, the amylase, which is an enzyme, it will start to break down the uh, sugars in the bread into smaller bits so and then it goes into my stomach it's got my stomach acid and then i, I have other um, enzymes being released and i need blood supply into that area so that digestive process starts with a and it's not something that we're aware of by the way so our autonomic nervous system our automatic system nervous system switches on the parent it's the parasympathetic part so it's the opposite to the sympathetic part which is the fight or flight so the fight or flight is us running away from a dinosaur so there we don't want to be digesting our food yes um, it's the parasympathetic sympathetic which is the digest and rest so if you think about it eating optimally be it your breakfast your lunch your biscuit you want to do it in a resting state so resting state to me is when I'm nice and calm I'm going slowly, I'm quite calm, I'm breathing gently, that's my resting state, that's, that's my parasympathetic system working and I know that I'm producing my saliva and all my digestive enzymes, my blood supply is going to my, my tummy, that's going to be the optimal time to actually uh, eat my food. So bear that in mind because the reason why I've not talked about what's best to eat or not or what's not best to eat, etc. in general, is because it's really, really complicated because when we're eating food or we're, we're, we're trying to lose weight, etc., it's all those things that, are, that, that 
help us to just just live so it's the as i said it's a lot more complicated than we think it is <laughs> okay um so the benefits of weight loss are there's loads of them living longer better joint health a uh, heart diabetic outcomes they're all a lot better fertility cancer risks they all decrease uh, breathing uh, all sorts of things so losing weight is obviously really really important so the principles I want to talk about um, to give you some ideas about losing weight are are going to be as follows I'll give you about I think 13 13 13 um, sort of tips number one more vegetables in general whatever that might be avocados whatever it, you know whatever some patients don't realize that um, if I said to you at the beginning nutrients in general you you get your carbohydrates you got your fats and you got your proteins so something like uh, let's say a cauliflower or, or an avocado is going to have well not so much an avocado well, uh, yeah an avocado but let's say a, a cauliflower it is a carbohydrate okay and that's not necessarily a bad thing because people think oh, okay I'm going to reduce my sugars I won't have a teaspoon of sugar in my tea you know it's not as simple as that cauliflower will contain sugar however it's it's long long chains of sugar stuck together so it's a it's a it's a fantastic type of sugar it's got so fiber that's a sugar but it has lots of beneficial effects so it gets the sugar gets released slowly the fiber is something that helps to feed our, um, our bacteria in our gut our microbiome so in general number one more vegetables number two less ready meals ready meals because uh, of two things number one is it's processed so we've no idea what goes into it salt so at the end of the day a manufacturer wants to sell you something and make a profit so they're going to make it really tasty they're going to do all sorts of things to it to get you to buy it again so it's going to be very salty the mouth feel is going to be fantastic so they'll put in some what's the word Ty different types of fats to allow that flavor to actually linger longer so ready meals one needs to decrease uh, number three eating starts with not just something in front of you eating starts with when you do your shopping it starts when you're cooking because if you think about it um, if it, let's say I don't know I've, uh, I'm gonna think about my dinner tonight and I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna have a curry I'll, I'll have a menu in my my head and I'll start preparing it in my head I'll go home I'll start cooking it so my eyes are looking at what I'm doing and my brains kicking in so it's starting to prepare the rest of my body for this meal that I'm gonna have do you know what that's really important because enzymes and digestive juices and various other things are going to happen in my body to get ready for this meal that's going to be coming in that means that by the time I eat that meal because I've seen it I've smelt it I have prepared it in my brain it's going to be absorbed a lot a lot better I'm going to have better outcomes because don't forget when you're digesting your food you're breaking those things down into the components that you need you need the energy obviously and as I said those larger larger bits of food that you're eating have to be broken down into fatty chain fatty chains little amino acids and sugars the body will um, put that into the bloodstream but also at the same time there will be what are called inflammatory markers inflammation that occurs from all sorts of processes in your body which include uh, eating and we want to decrease those inflammatory markers and if we start to have um, a different way of looking at our food we will decrease those inflammatory markers okay that is number three number four eat a variety of different foods different colors 
make sure it's fresh, it's home cooked, but lots of different varieties of things because that's how we've been designed and we've gone on for eons and adapted to. So, so having a variety of things are important to us. Um, number five, eat when you're relaxed, eat slower so that your brain starts to kick in and let your br lets so your stomach your brain will let your stomach know that you're getting full and that obviously takes some time um, number six look at intermittent intermittent fasting benefits so intermittent fasting would be basically something along the lines of you could eat normally five days and two days a week you reduce what you eat in half um, so that would be an example of, of a five to intermittent fasting. So, and that you might need to prepare because you might, let's say over the weekend, you might not be ready to actually reduce uh, the amount that you eat by half. So, but that's an example of intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting. What I do myself, what I try and do is I do, I try and eat in a period of eight hours. So in other words, I'll eat between 12 o'clock in the afternoon till 8 o'clock at night as best I can. So that means of 24 hours in my cycle that I live, or, or, or this in a day cycle, only 8 hours is spent eating. So the other 16 hours, some of it's sleeping, but I'm not basically eating. So there I'm eating less. That's an example of intermittent fasting. It's definitely something to look at. Benefits are... What happens when you do intermittent fasting, you start burning off um, some of your storage energy, which is your fat, and a, a, as you do, you, you, you do that at night. So you produce, you, you produce ketones, because uh, obviously throughout day and night, your brain still needs uh, energy, but it will get it from a different source, and it will get it from your fat. So that's how it has a big benefit to to losing weight, so intermittent intermittent fast fasting, it'll help with your di diabetes. Uh, to make, for example, it'll help with everyone actually. But if we talk about um, healthcare and in pharmacies and in, in the medical, let's say patients that we have here, if you're diabetic, it'll help with your insulin sensitivity. It'll increase it. It'll decrease insulin resistance, if you know about that. So lots of benefits benefits to intermittent fasting. Um, butter is okay unless you're vegan. So, and it's always, it's always the quality. So butter is okay. So the main point I want to say there about butter and number eight is you need to enjoy your food. You know, don't, you know, you don't want to go in throughout life and deprive yourself because it's one of the essential things that we do. Eating is an essential thing. So <laughs> if it's essential, <laughs> you know, you make sure you enjoy it. So butter is definitely okay. Obviously it's the quantity and the quality, but it's okay. Number eight, I've done, enjoy your food. Number nine, increase your fluids. So let's say you're hungry, have a cup of tea, which is what I do. Sometimes if I'm playing tennis in the morning, if I've got a morning session, I've got a, a lesson every Tuesday at about nine, 9.30 with Alfie at uh, wherever I go. I'll have a, what's it called? A latte, so that's a soya milky thing with some coffee in. Because I don't forget, I don't have something to eat till <laughs> 12 o'clock. And you know what? I feel great. And there's me exerting myself playing tennis. So the, the point is that when you have a fluid, your stomach, uh, it has baroreceptors. So in other words, it measures volume. When it measures a volume, it gets full. It's just how it works. So having soups, having more fluids will make you feel full. So that's a, that's a, that's a tip. And that's how fiber works, by the way. Fiber, uh, when you eat fiber like vegetables, etc., it bolts up your food. That's, that's why it's beneficial because when you have more fiber, you can't have other things as well because <laughs> your stomach gets full. Uh, number 10, the quality of food is really important. Uh, quality, quality, quality. Be organic, what it, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be organic, but make sure it's good quality. Weigh yourself, number 11, I think it's really important because it gives you an idea of where you, where you are, number one. So information is important. But also when you start doing the intermittent fasting and, you, and you're starting this 
journey, which might take you a year, two years, whatever, it doesn't really matter. This journey is a process, it's learning, okay? You want some information, some feedback to see where you are, see where you're going. So weighing yourself is really, really good. Number 12, being hungry. Okay, when you shop, make sure you're not hungry, otherwise you're gonna spend more. When you eat as well, make sure you're not really, really, really hungry because if I'm really, really hungry and I have my dinner, I'm in trouble because I'll eat it very, very quickly. So I'll tend to eat more because my brain's not kicked in or my stomach's not kicked in to tell my brain that I'm full. And also I'll, I'll, my choices of when I'm really, really hungry when I eat are different. So when I'm really hungry, I'll crave cheese. What else will I crave? I'll crave crisps. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, as long as I'm aware of that, then that's a good thing. Okay, that's all I want to say. Au revoir. Ah, by the way, I'm a pharmacist, so I need to talk about medication. Well, well not necessarily talk about medication, but there are some medications that we do give out for uh, losing weight specifically. Um, so I'll quickly show you. Um, on prescription or from myself or any other pharmacist, um, but particularly when your BMI is of the order of 27 or more, or particularly 30 or more. Two products are Orlistat. Orlistat basically stops you absorbing fat, so you have it with a meal, so therefore the main side effect there is that you can get uh, diarrhea, because obviously if I'm having a fatty meal and I have that, if that's, the, let's say, a magnet and it's absorbing all the fat, It'll come out that way, but that's generally how it works. That's not bad as long as you reduce your calories. The other thing is uh, another product called Saxenda, which is an injection that was used for type two diabetes. It had it has some benefits, but Saxenda makes you feel full, so that works very very well. Over the period of about a year, you lose about eight percent in weight. So Saxenda. Uh, works on um, um, telling your brain that you are full. So p a particular enzyme, um, GLP-1. Um, side effects there, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea are the main side effects. So they're, they're two products that uh, pharmacies uh, use and doctors can dispense, uh, uh, prescribe. Okay, thank you, bye.